Stick War Legacy is one of the best, maybe the best Stickman games hair. of all time. It's been around so long that they put in these weekly missions. They started them in August 2020, I guess in honor of my birth month. And now we have, look at this, two over 200. Now, the 100 week challenge was epic, and I can only imagine mission 200 will be as well. Survive until sunset for 15 minutes on this ultra level. We're gonna be fighting multiple waves of everything, and we're gonna be fighting units with undead armor, meaning when they die, they turn to the dead. So I'm thinking for our skin choice, we choose the savage skin who has bonus damage to deads. Now, if we're gonna survive for that long, we need a very, very strong economy. But I think more so than that, or in addition, we need really, really strong, durable units. Oh my gosh, obviously minions. No, I'm not talking about the little minions from the movie. I'm talking about this necromancer spawning in skelly warriors. So health, in damage and then archer damage and i think well wish me luck we're gonna get three miners out and uh i don't know survive until sunset but sunset is 15 minutes oh our treos and kichu are apparently siblings of royal birth so we have a merrick and golden archidon and a regular spiritan so the question now oh we oh my god we've already got enemies coming what the heck uh, you guys better fight that. Yeah, see how when they die, they just spawn into zombies? I'm gonna need more footmen on the front lines. What the heck? This is insane. They're already just rushing me. Which, like, obviously, right? But this is... This is getting out of hand. I need more Spiritans to, to make a front line. Oh my god. And honestly, I think I need another Merrick. I need at least two Merricks so that the Merrick can heal each other while my Spiritans fight. Oh god, please don't kill my miners. One more Spiritan, and then I think we need to go back to a miner. Because we've got- I wish we had like a miner count. Alright guys, go out there and kill that archer, please. Seriously. Alright, go back to defending. Now, as far as what is awaiting us in the next wave, I don't know. It said we're gonna be fighting waves of everything, so at some point we need to be fighting- Oh yeah, here they are. That's three spear tins in like, I don't know, five, seven, eight? Something like that, sword wrath? This is getting out of hand. We desperately need a magician here, a wizard, but they cost $1,200. But what we could do is a little bit of a minor rush, but I think with two wizards healing, and then one necromancer spawning in zombie minions. Then we have a pretty decent chance of surviving. Oh my god, yeah, so... They have, like, their spiritin warrior died and spawned in a dead spiritin zombie. But once this guy's out, we actually might be able to get a second one, maybe before this next wave, which would be huge. Where is the guy? There he is. Okay, so you can see him in the back. He's got, like, this deer headdress. He's a, a savage wizard naturally and uh, he's spawning in little zombie minions they're gonna help me survive even longer by creating a relatively strong front line now after that I'm thinking with the front line established what we need to do is go with archers so that we can fire arrows above our strong front line and kill the enemy just pin cushion turn them into porcupines except dead and inverted porcupines where the spikes aren't facing outwards oh no they're facing inwards now you may be like what is this guy talking about guys it's strategy all right it's a it's a very careful doctrine of strategy you know oh my god that's a lot okay fire the arrows where are my arrows all right that's a decent amount of arrows and then the wizards can also help by coming in with these like giant fire blasts magic ill need to be healing are spiritans, not the little minions. But the archers are doing some significant damage. But you have to imagine, on a, on a, oh, I was just about to say, you have to imagine that we'll probably have to fight a giant, right? Well, I was, whoa, 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 whoa. That is three giants. Do I have three magic kill out there? I think the rest honestly need to be archers. Wow. But then the zombie or like the skelly giants turn into zombie giants. So that was already giants, and I don't know, I can't imagine us being like more than five minutes in. Oh my 
god. The amount of zombies attacking our Stickman army seems infinite almost. Look at that. That archer and poor guy, he's blocking like 50 arrows, but that 51st one gets in and hits him in the eyeball. And he's having a bad day. But this is kind of scary. So what we're going to do is not let the enemy stack up. We're going to go out and meet them. You know, like the, the men of Rohan in Lord of the Rings. Which is, oh, the best movie trilogy of all time. And I grew up being a huge Star Wars fan. But nowadays, the most recent Star Wars trilogy is like, what are you guys doing? It could have been epic. All right, Merrick, get behind lines, please. Thank you. They're making me nervous. What do you think is going to come out? from the other side of the screen. I heard some kind of a moaning. I, I, I see some range zombies. That can't be it. That can't be the only thing attacking us. But if it is, it doesn't matter. Fill them with arrows, boys. I mean, that giant push was the big push. Maybe there's a big push every five minutes. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's six giants. Okay, we're, we're gonna ride out to meet them again. I don't have a lot of Spiritons, but I have just enough. But the Archidans need to get out there. Now what we could try to do is get this Spiritan to try to get behind their lines and start stabbing them in the back. Because he'll do twice as much damage. Look at that, he just stabbed someone in the pancreas and the giant fell to his demise. Pull back. Before the next invasion comes, our archers will be able to pick off that zombie. Look at that. Isn't that terrifying? Merricks. What are you guys doing? You guys are the single most important unit. Well, eh, everybody's important in their own way. Like, if we lose any aspect of this, we are almost at 10,000. There it is. 10,000 gold. I could lose my whole army and replace it probably with all giants and still have a little bit of money left over. That's a good... Oh my god, it's, it's Griffin. Wait, is that Griffin? Yeah, that's Griffin the Great. They get Griffin the Great? So Griffin the Great is a special unit. Here, let me show you. So he's available in the shop. He costs 1,000 gems, just to kind of give you a little bit of scope. And 10,000, that's like about $10. 10 US dollars right now is out here trying to kill us and ruin our dreams of domination. Oh my gosh. Arrows don't do a whole lot. All right, what we need to do is flank. Get the flank in. Get the flank in. Yes. All right. Oh, oh God. They got a Kai Rider. Okay. All right. Griffin is about to fall. Reminds me of that scene in Game of Thrones where the giant goes down to all of the arrows. You just can't repel firepower of that magnitude, my friend. Oh, he turned around. Now our arrows do a little bit more damage. And he's dead. Oh my God. We, we survived. That was it. Wait. It said 15 minutes. How did we do it in 12 minutes and 58 seconds then? That seems a little bit interesting. So after mission 200, what is next? Now we need to convert every unit to the lava skin because the lava skin has damage reflect. And when you have every unit using the same skin, there's a little bit of synergy. You get a little bit of a passive income. I need a strong income. I'm gonna have to use sword wrath, but then I think I want a giant. And then let's do health and foot speed. Oh man, we could have made, we could have made like a Zergling style rush. I think this is the way to do it. Oh, we have $900. I wonder if we could just rush a giant out. Let's try it. I'm gonna go for a giant right off the bat. I've never tried a giant rush, but when you start with 900 gold, I, I feel like the question is, why not rush? There it is. We have exactly 1500. We'll get this guy. We're doing damage reflect. So even when they're attacking us, we hurt them. It's like we're on fire or something. All right, so at this point, we've got our giant. I think we go for two miners. Oh, we're under attack. Okay, giant. Let's see, who wins? Look at them taking damage. He gets the stuns. Oh, he's getting hit with archers. Actually, he's doing damage to them, right? Yeah, we're gonna get another giant. And then after that, sword wrath. Just spamming sword wrath the rest of the way. Are they retreating? Smash! I'm surprised that club did not insta-kill that archer. There we go, reinforcements are arriving. Oh, that giant, Wun Wun. That'll be his name. Wun Wun, you fought all the way to the door. If he survives this battle, actually, pull back Wun Wun. Let the other giant take the damage. Oh, he's healing somehow. 
That might be one of the synergies. The double giant rush is all that we needed for victory. Oh, they're retreating. No way does that giant survive. They're a very rare species, these giants. Boom. Oh, man. Twin giants for the win. So mission 201, not nearly as hard. We are so close to unlocking a chest. I'm very excited for that. Well, we've done 200 and 201, but what about 199? Lavish, the leader of the miners is on his way. There's triple barricade gold rush, start with zero gold. Reversing sword rest, spiritons, magical. Okay, we need to pick a skin that is cheap and effective, and that is the leaf skin. They build faster and they have a discount on their units. This is a gold rush and every piece of gold counts. Now, if it's Gold Rush, we need to have at least one mining rate pickup, and then we can't rush Sword Wrath. So the cheapest unit we can get is Archers. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Wait a s Lavish the leader of the miners. Okay, good. So he's gonna help me mine. I've only got one gold node, so actually the first thing I wanna get is a unit to punch through this rock. Wow, look at- he, he just mines faster, he's got a bigger bag. I mean, he's got jewels in his hair. That is how rich the man is. So we got 148 from one miner. How much do we get from this guy? 150. Wait a second. We wanted more than that, right? Ah, oh, yeah, see, they have sword at You cheeky cheekers. 12 damage each. I don't know how much damage the archer is going to be doing. 34. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad I upgraded their damage. We're going to need a lot of them. Once we break through this wall, we could have six miners. Here's a question. Do miners help you break the wall and do they actually do a little bit more damage? Because they have a pickaxe, right? It, it would seem to make logical sense. I mean, I would hope so. Oh yeah, and the miner's helping. Excellent. Then we want a few more of these guys so that once we get here, we can get as much gold as possible. But yeah, let's see the race who can do it faster. I feel like whoever breaks through is gonna have a much better chance. And oh, it's definitely going to be us, the good guys. I say defend. What are they do? What are they just? They're just shooting it. No. Yeah, I, I I do not like that. But you can't tell everybody to go back to base. Look at all that gold I just brought back. If I had gone spiritons, they wouldn't be attacking. Well, it's too late now. Look at them in their golden haircuts. You idiots! It's time to die. One of the things is you can, oh man, you could like, you could give yourself a gold note, right? Look at that. I just materialized it out of the ether. We could not have attacked anything and just spam those maybe at home. I wonder how many you could actually build. That would be an interesting challenge. Oh God, this is not good. Gentlemen, defend the realm. All right, each spiritin needs to pair off. Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh my God, I have all this money that I'm just sitting on like an idiot. All right, there we go. Oh, please take him out. Yes, the Achilles heel. We've got the stronger army, but I want to have a definitive overwhelming force. So let's do a little bit of a skirmish. It's easy to have an overwhelming force when you killed most of their economy. Like these two guys out in the front. Hey buds, you're dead. Look at that guy. He's working with three arrows sticking out of him. Can you imagine, you know like the dude at the big old corporate America job who's got like the employee of the month and he's got his own parking spot? That's this guy, the guy with three arrows sticking out of him. He's like, oh, I'm just trying to, you know, work my nine to five and go back to my kids, play Legos and Minecraft. Man, that, I can't blame you, buddy. That sounds awesome. Me being a father now, I cannot wait till I get to play Legos and Minecraft. Oh my God, that's gonna be awesome. All right. This, I mean, that, that's a big army, right? That's the definition of big army. Let's go. And you keep doing that mining thing. Yes. Wiped out their miners. That is a big army, though. And they're going to get reinforcements. And arrows don't do a whole lot, especially after the defensive wave comes. But we do have spiritons out there. So what we want to do is actually time this so we're not wasting all of our hits on the statue and instead on their units so our archers are doing maximum damage. Highest DPS they can. Oh, and they just sent their miners out. They're getting greedy. But at this point, uh, their spiritons are actually putting up a really, really good fight. They're better than ours. But they're not supported by an insane amount of archers. Look at all of these arrows. They can't repel firepower of this magnitude. And victory 
is ours. So if you guys do want to see more Stick War Legacy, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.